focusing on developing our passing game and, and getting the ball in those guys' hands as playmakers. So I saw a lot of development in the receiver position, you know, with uh, guys like Noah Brown making some development and, uh, you know, even Paris Campbell. And then uh, Terry had a nice catch today for a touchdown. And so I, I thought we made progress there, Corey Smith. So okay, I'll, I'll I, I saw that position having a, a, a lot of numbers where we could get a bit in there. You know, there wasn't a lot of running backs to work. There weren't a lot of tight ends to work. So, you know, our young linemen got a lot of work. So hopefully they can grow and learn from that because it's amazing how much linemen get better in the off season just because now they have a visual picture of how it all works. And then when they work on things, it just seems to make sense to them. They visualize the drill, drills a little better. Yeah, hold that bus. <laughs> Coach Meyer was Your commercial's funny too, by the way. Oh, thank you. Coach Meyer was saying that Billy Price is tight today compared to this time last year. Ed, is that just a matter of him getting a year of starting experience under his belt? What, what has made Billy Price go from night to night today? Well, confidence is the biggest thing with a player with talent that without confidence doesn't always play up to his ability level. So Billy has confidence now. And uh, that's confidence comes from playing well in big games down the stretch. But yeah, he's so much further along in his development and where he's at right now. I mean, he's, he's really good. And uh, so that's exciting. And then we just hope to see that growth from some of these other young linemen. Because last year at this time, Billy, we were like, well, I just don't know. I mean, we're going to have to see how this works out. And he struggled early in the season, but by the time midseason hit, he was playing well and down the stretch, he played great. And so we're looking for that same development from some other guys. And, and I get that that's a slow process. It takes some time. But yeah, Billy's uh, just so confident in in what he's supposed to do and how he's supposed to do it that now his talent just shows. What do you think, not just from okay. this spring, Thank you. but in from when you guys got here, the depth that you have at the skill positions, what have you seen overall in the past couple of years of where you guys are now with the people you have at receiver and running back? Well, we've just continued to supply talent to that position. So now we have a lot of playmakers there. I mean, they're just, uh, you know, that was a recruiting emphasis. And uh, so we brought on a lot of talented skill guys because there's something electric about those fast guys making big plays and, you know, quick strikes, big play potential. And uh, that's part of an Urban Meyer offense. You know, we've just aggressively recruited those guys and they're here on the team now and they're coming in, you know, coming into their own, so to speak, and they're playing well. With any of those guys, Corey Smith, I said at the big day today, we kind of heard his name so much and when we're caught off playmakers this spring. Is, is today indicative of the spring he's had? Or? Consistency is his issue. He has some talent, and uh, he shows it. Today he showed his talent, so his deal to be someone talked about consistently is to be consistent and do that every day, and he's trying to figure out what he needs to do to be consistent. Because when he does show up and have it all locked in, he's really good. What has Lyers done the last couple of weeks to lock down that right tackle spot? Well, the whole spring, he's just uh, he had a great off season after the national championship game, probably trained as well as anybody. And just now he started the reps he's gotten against Bosa. I mean, he goes against Bosa and some really high-level defensive players on a daily basis, and that's helped him you know, grow and, and the confidence level and it's like anything, get comfortable, get confident. Once you're those two things, you start to play pretty well. And uh, so he has developed there and uh, I think he's ready to, to take that spot over.